Hi everybody, Callie Berg with the Greater Bridgman Area Chamber and Growth Alliance and we're here for another fun segment of Meet the Makers. Today we are here at Watermark Brewing Company in Stevensville, Michigan and I'm meeting with Chris Mason, one of the principals of this amazing brewery. And Chris, we're so happy that you um, have us here today and you're also participating with us yes, at the are. Makers Trail Festival on Saturday, June 9th from 1 to 10 at Waco Beach in Bridgman, Michigan. You can get your tickets at makerstrailfestival.org or if you can't make the festival or even if you can, you definitely have to come check out Watermark Brewing and we're going to talk about some of their new beers today. Oh yeah, so uh, our game plan is we don't really distribute much so that allows us to do a lot of different recipes all the time. So a new one we just came out with is called Astro Lager. We recently purchased a 99 Astro, so we're like, let's name a beer after it. Um, this beer is a dry hopped lager, an India Pale Lager is the style. This one right this here, one right here? clear okay. one. All Cheers. Right. Cheers. So five and a half percent, nice and light. Mm. Pretty straightforward. Oh, that's good. So Very yeah. good. And people can come in here and they can buy cans to go? Yeah, yeah, while supplies last. While supplies thing, last. We don't, it's just kind of a one-off that we do and um, we kind of keep it rotating all the time as far as cans go. Yeah, and your your, your beer selection changes yeah, right, all the time. Right now we've got 18 different beers on tap. Wow. So that allows us to do some five gallon batches all the way up to like 300 gallon batches um, with our system. Nice. So the nice part is I don't actually make the beer, I just get to talk about it. Unfortunately, it tastes good. <laughs> you get the fun so, part. So yeah, Dave the brewer, he, uh, he makes all the beer, so it makes my job easy. Okay. Well, how about this one? What do we have here from so, Dave the brewer? This is Quan Su. It's a passion fruit wit, so nice and light base, and we add in some passion fruit. Um, kind of tastes like passion fruit juice in a way, so this definitely resonates with the female demographic typically. Okay. Um, this is a beer actually, yesterday we debuted our icy machine, so we're going to be doing beer ices. We put this right in there, freezes up. Um, definitely not marketing that to kids, but um, people definitely love drinking beer ices. We're going to be doing wine in it as well, as well as rose, frozen rosé. Okay. Cider too. Okay, so. awesome. Oh, yeah. This so, is going to make a tremendous icy. Yeah, so but that's it's really when, good like this too. Yeah, that's when we're definitely committed to trying to keep on all summer. Mm -hmm. It was pretty tasty yesterday in the ice machine. So. so now you also have a really open policy with your brewery. There's always kids and dogs and yeah, as far lots as of things welcome, going on here. For sure. um, so it's, it's kind of, we didn't want to open a restaurant at all. We want to just focus on the beer, be you known for the beer, have a cool space, be comfortable. And so um, we allow people, you know, we had a baby shower of like 85 people yesterday. Wow. Came out, hang out, hang out in the uh, patio and they brought in some food from Silver Beach Pizza and it's like, that's great. As long as you guys are drinking our beer. So. Yeah, and you also do food trucks? Yeah, we rotate some food trucks and Nosh Village is here like three days a week doing sushi, banh mi, ramen, things like that. And then, Sammy Arepas is here Thursdays, and we got a few other rotating on Saturdays. Nice. So, yeah. so these beers that we just got to try, are they two of the beers you'll be bringing to the festival? Probably not. We'll be out of the. We'll definitely be out of this one, um, the India Pale Lager, the Astro Lager, by the time we get there. But hopefully, we will have the passion fruit. Beer. Okay. So fingers okay. crossed. You know, you always send me that thing. It's like. Eh, March, it's like, I don't know what beers <laughs> what we're bringing, beers? Yeah. but we'll decide that day, so. Yeah, and that that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I think I, I think it's safe to say that the people who come to the festival look forward to the surprise of, am I going to get to try something that I haven't yeah. had before from Watermark? And um, you never disappoint. So yeah. the, the lesson to be learned is you either need to come to Watermark and try one of the 18 beers that you currently have. Yeah and come to the festival where you Definitely. will get to try something that you haven't tried in the tap room, right? Yeah, yeah we're looking forward to being down on Waco Beach in some warmer weather, because I know in the past yeah. it's fall, I think it was a little rainy last year, but I think this year it's gonna just be... No rain, yeah. no rain. You're not can't, gonna, can't you're not gonna fix this. It, so yes. It's gonna be a good time. It'll be a great time. Are we allowed to get in the water while we're there? Is that allowed? Is, is there like beach Actually, access? actually, absolutely. You can get a hand stamp and you can leave the festival and great. go enjoy Lake Michigan. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we have families with older children where mm -hmm. they can be on the beach and the parents cool. come in and they listen to some music and Perfect. nosh on some delicious treats and drink some fabulous beverages and then they go out and get their kids and cool. it's a wonderful day for everyone. So yeah, we're looking forward. forward to having you there. Yeah, looking forward to being a part of it. Again. Thank you so much, so. Chris.
yeah. makerstrailfestival.org. Get your tickets today. $10 Cheers. in advance, 15 at the door. See you there.